everybody, this is Lunya and today I want to show you on Garafin's channel um, a very nice mod for Minecraft. It's named Most Creatures and it contains land animals, water animals, harmful animals and harmless animals and the best, in my opinion, horses. Hey, but I like horses. I'm a girl. That's true. We have five different wild living horses which you can tame by yourself. Um, it's, the first one is Chester. It's a light brown horse and you need one bread or four wheat to tame it. Light brown horses are the slowest horses but they are the easiest to tame. And yeah, it looks at me like it is very hungry. Then we have the dark brown horses. They need two breads or eight wheat to tame them. Now we have the black horses. That's the fastest normal horses and you need three bread and or twelve wheat to tame them. Now we have here Mrs. Pixel. It's a unicorn. Very mystic and nice looking. And you need four bread and twelve wheat or twelve wheat to tame. Here we have my Desti, it's a Pegasus, and for this one you need 5 bread or 20 weeds. That's the first horse you can fly with. And at the right side you can see a little part of the head from my first uh, self-breeded horse. This is Packard, it's a packing horse. Uh, yeah, you see the saddle bags on the side. It's very nice. You can use the saddlebags only if you have a torch in the hand. Then you can open them, put things in, put things out, and done. Now this is Nighty. It's a nightmare. Uh, when you feed them redstone, they can walk through lava, but they will um, have a fire track after them. So I do not prefer to ride them, as it can be very dangerous. Last but not least, that's my favorite. It's a black Pegasus. Um, yeah, it looks very nice. It can fly. And maybe later on we will have a little ride on him. Okay, but now back to topic. Um, to tame and to breed horses, you need some tools. And now I will show you how to make them. Um, as a hint, as from now on, apples fall from trees. You can use one and you only need one apple to tame one horse. So, yeah, it's getting really easy. Oh, there he is. It's my little Rusty, it's a shepherd, so, yeah, really nice. Okay, yeah. Ah, Leon looks through the window. So, for Taming and breeding, you need some tools. Um, yeah, for breeding mushroom stew, or you can also use pumpkins. Um, with pumpkin seeds, it's really easy. Um, then we need string to make a rope that we can carry our horses with us. Uh, then we need a saddle and a special thing, a whip, which you can see here already. Then let's start to craft. First the rope. There you put one string in every corner of your crafting table and one in the middle. There it is. Now the whip. Therefore you need big cat claws. Uh, with most creatures it's really easy to get them. Uh, you need also three leather and an iron ingot. Ta-da! That's a whip. It's a really nice tool, sounds good and makes funny fire on the ground. Um, then we need also a saddle. A normal saddle does not fit on a horse's back, so we need a horse saddle. It's made out of four, five leather and three iron ingots. And it looks a little bit different from normal saddles. And last but not least, the mushroom stool, an uh, old known receipt. So, make it. Then, let's head to the paddock. Oh, it's a little bit raining. Oh, there's one who needs a hug. 
then with which horses we want to breed now. Guess we'll take two pecking horses. Yeah, this is the way uh, pecking horses look when they have no saddlebags on the sides. Uh, you can attach them only by using an empty chest and right click with the empty chest and hand on the horse. As horses can't go through fence gates, you only have to walk. They will be teleported like dogs after you. Um, to lure them, maybe you can have a little bit of wheat in your hands. They will follow you, probably, <laughs> eventually. Ah, come in, come in. To get them dry, I have made a little stable here. Now get the ropes off and now they stand in their place. Um, I feed them now, each of them, uh, mushroom stew. That will make them a little bit flirty. And uh, now we will leave them alone for a while. Maybe a little sweet horsey will appear in a few minutes. In my opinion it's a real good idea to have a little farm besides your house that you ever have fresh wheat and fresh pumpkins and never go out of stock or if you don't find enough mushrooms. Um, to point out a really really important uh, info, uh, you only have a chance to get the horse which you want to breed. This is no guarantee that you will also receive this little horse. So um, now back to theory. Uh, Horses have different breed values. Light horses have the value 1. Dark brown horses have the value 2. Black horses have the value 3. Unicorns the value 4. Pegasus the value 5. And so on. Um, now if you want to breed a pecking horse, you probably need a dark brown horse and a Pegasus or a unicorn and a black horse. That's the point. To get a nightmare like this little guy, you need a value of nine. That means you can take a brown horse and a packing horse. That's this one. <laughs> or a Pegasus and a unicorn. And to get a black Pegasus, you need a value of 12, so you can use two packing horses or you take a Nightmare and a Pegasus. So I think we can now go back to our little sweet couple, maybe they already have received their little gift. Um, maybe we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Let's see. Yeah, nothing happened until now. So we will have to wait a little bit longer. Oh, I think I forgot to close the door and it's raining now. Okay, um, one point I missed uh, regarding the breeding of horses. Um, in the normal most creatures mods, you have only the chance to breed one time with one horse, after that they are no longer fertile, but um, there is an option on the most creatures with uh, animals. There you can uh, select easy horse breed, yes, and from this point on you can breed unlimited times with one or two horses and yeah, good luck with it. I think it's too easy, but for this guide I switched it, and yeah, it's quite too easy. I like the risk. Um, yeah, I think still nothing happened until now, so would be a great chance to have a little fly around with the black Pegasus. Let's get him and yeah. Enjoy the night and the rain. So, come on, Blackie. Ah, oh, there he is. 
So now get on the back and let's go. And also please get in mind that if you want to fly, check that nothing is above you so you won't go up. And press the space part to get up. Yeah, as you can see, um, the wings are working very well. It stays in the air. Even with me on his back. <laughs> so now, as I'm a little bit too lazy to get him back to the stables, I will leave him at the paddock and watch again for a couple. Uh, yeah, uh, from the back of a horse you can get off with, by pressing shift. I needed a long time to find this out. So we have a little baby horse, but unfortunately it's no black pegasus. It's a little pecking horse. And with the impression of this little nice family, I'll leave you alone and say bye! And don't forget to subscribe!